All righty. We are tied down. There is some steel underneath there. And um, I put my cover over the top so it doesn't cut my straps. And we got panels up there. Uh, there's these purlins. And we've got stuff up there. I don't know this stuff. I just know what they tell me over the time I've been here. So when I speak about it, I have no clue what it really is. I just know that these here, they call them Z's or Perlins. And they're pricks because they're super heavy. And then we got boxes on the back, which is awesome because I sort of really prefer to have had them up the front. And then they hit this one from me because they're super awesome, but it is what it is. So we do this and it stops it from moving. So we got two straps and a cross one. That's it, I've only got that amount of straps. I have one more, but it holds my eight foot tops. So we got this one, this one, and we put this here to protect it. This one is not a problem, it's not up against it. That's holding the Z's. And then we got pad in here. I never did any one well, other day when I did that, and that tarp I did the other day came out well. So I did bungee it off in the end. I just used the same bungee and pulled it down so I didn't know water got underneath, but water comes up from the bottom of the trailer, it comes up and then comes from the front and back. You can't stop it when you go through rain, but I had it tarped and plastered enough that when I got here, the coils were dry. It was just the base of the pallets that were wet. So we put these edge protectors on. Are they gonna be any good? Probably, probably not, who knows? That one there's a bit of a prick, but it's holding on, so. And then everything's super tight. Nothing can go anywhere. We're going to Tavares in Florida. So for Monday, the second. So there's more doors there as such. So nothing's damaged as such. So and there you go. There's my um there's my medals and that underneath here. So that's holding that in place and that one over there is holding that in place. And it can't go anywhere. It's Super tight, so it can't go anywhere, it won't go anywhere. I'm not gonna drive like an idiot, so there's my tarps up there. I did my boxes today, I cleaned out the, I did my truck today, I just worked on it a bit and cleaned stuff up and then still garbage because of the weather. I dried my plastic out, because uh, when I had to roll it up the other day, I had to roll it out here and it was soaking wet. That's my tarp, that's my 20, 20 by 16. That's the one I haven't used, that's why it looks like it does, because it's just been sitting in a locker and doesn't get used very often. Occasionally I use it. There's my other 20. So they're 20 by 16s, and that's a 27 by 16. So, and I've been drying them out, which is good, because they needed to be dried out, they were soaking wet. They're upside down at the moment, in other words, the, this part here is the part that, um, this part here is the part that covers the load. And on the other side, it will say the name of the company. So, but they needed to be dried out. So here we go. We got them all dried out now. The plastic's dried. I've been airing my truck out by listening to the yard birds, which I've got going at the moment, but not while I'm recording, obviously. And Fleetwood Mac, Peter Green and Mick Fleetwood, the early, very early um, original Fleet Mac, Fleetwood Mac, as they like to say, which originated from England or Britain whichever way you want to say it so so yeah I've been airing my stuff out there's my sleeper somewhat in there anyway can't really see anything there's my bed and my pink fluffy which keeps me warm I love my pink I love pink pink is a beautiful color no it doesn't mean you're gay it's just a beautiful color but hey ho in this world who the fuck knows anymore oh shit swore sorry I'm allowed to swear right that's all my garbage as in stuff that I keep there's all my sprays and oils and everything and there's my water bottles that I keep so I can wash my hands. There's my gloves. That's the one that created my finger to um, do this. I've got to be a little careful because of the way my finger is because it's my naughty finger, as they say. But it's getting better, so there it is now. It's a little rough, but that's because I've been working, so. So there we go. I feel a little bit today. Um, I'm a little, uh, a little worn out today. I think when I fell on my ass the other day, I don't hurt from it as such, but my wrist hurts a little. Uh, it's just achy, uh, but it's my dumb ass for falling over. So anyway, I'm allowed to bitch and complain because that's freedom of freedom of speech, mate. That's the beauty of being free, you know. So a lot of people forget that. 
So, this is me and Chief. So later on tonight, when my 34 is up, that's the moon up there, that's so awesome. Later on tonight, when my 34 is up, I'll go to work, drive through the night, which will be awesome because it'll be New Year's. And then, um, and that'll put me down there for, I might even leave at midnight. And, um, and then do the rest early, Monday morning. And that'll put me down there perfectly. I probably will do that actually. And then I'll leave uh, uh, early Monday, early, early Sunday night, Monday morning. So I'm probably gonna leave out about midnight and run. And that'll park me up tomorrow afternoon. And then I can leave out again and do the rest. Get down there, park up, and then get unloaded and try and mash it up to somewhere in Georgia, pick up my next load that goes to, I believe it was Windsor, uh, Wisconsin. I think it's a load of no tarp lumber. If it's tarp, I don't care because I like tarping. So, but that's it. This is my um, my happy new year video, I suppose you could say. So, that's my awesome load. It's no more than about twenty one thousand pound total. That's about it right there. I love being here in uh, in this uh, uh, Rensselaer, Indiana. I, I, I have a, a great love for Rensselaer, Indiana. It's especially here. It's peaceful. I, I like the little town. Most of the people are pretty decent. The workers here are pretty awesome. Some of them are um, are a bit daunting towards you because they don't know who you are. So people are always like, man, why is he staring? He's not staring at you. He just doesn't know who you are. And some people don't take to other people. So you just leave them alone. So that's what we're at. That's me. There's my beast. It is a little cold, but it's not freezing cold. But it's, uh, it's a nice day. And then right here, that's White Castle. That's their uh, building right here. They was working earlier and now they've gone home. And then there's the abundance of trailers down there with all the loads on and everything. So Everybody knows this area, so if anybody was to do anything, uh, they pretty much would know about it. There's cameras everywhere and they can spot people. So this area doesn't really get too much grief or trouble. It's pretty quiet, so that's why I like being here. It's peaceful, super peaceful. If I shut up for a second, you'll see what I mean. You ready? And that's it, that's how peaceful it is. It's got a little breeze today, which was awesome. The breeze is more over there, and the building at the moment is protecting me because the flags are flying in that direction. Which, um, if I do this, you can see, there you go. So the flags are, fl um, the flags are flying in that direction. Um, come here, oh, there we go. Go back to one, go back to one. There we go, oops. Well, if I go back to this one, just being a tit now, and it gives me a bigger expansion. Um, we'll go one real quick, there you go. So anyway, there you go. I'm gonna roll my tops up. I'm gonna go inside and clean myself up. There's the flags there, as you can see, that are doing nothing because the building's protecting us. So, but yeah, I'm gonna go clean myself up. And it's um, a happy new year, as they like to say. Happy new year, there you go. Happy new year. It's a beautiful moon. You can't really see if I go out too far. There you go. Anyway, I thought I'd do this for you this time around. And for anybody else that watches, Happy New Year to you all. I hope that um, 23 becomes not such a catastrophe of 21 and 22. And hopefully 23 will, will, will get a move on and then kick it into gear into 24 and then move on into 25 and get out of whatever the hell we got ourselves into. So. There we go. All right, this is, oh yes, and there's the flags, let's do that. Yeah, I definitely need to shave, and uh, I just look gross, but I don't care. Not really, because that's what working life's all about, right? Happy New Year to you. <laughs> My voice is awful. I love you. You don't think so, but that's okay. I love you both and everybody else. Happy New Year to you, and we will see what 23 will bring. I love you, later.